Hey guys, here's 10-ish things that players absolutely hate. Brought to you by Hockey Tutorial. The worst feeling to get is when you walk into the locker room and it's an absolute ghost town. Ooh. Is this it? Yeah. There's nothing worse than when you try to do all this hard work and you see you see the puck going in, you're like, yes, all right, here's my goal. And then you just got this guy that comes in out of nowhere and he just slams it home even though it was two inches from the goal line. Those are the worst. Jeez. There's nothing worse than when you're getting on that breakout and you have this perfect opportunity, three on oh. You're gonna go down, you know, make this goalie look like an absolute duster. And then you get this guy who absolutely fumbles it and it goes five feet the other way. And you guys have to go back through, pick it up and score. And then the guy's just like, oh yeah, hey guys. Yeah, we did it. I was so good. Man, really hate those guys. Gizo, you're welcome. You know that was all me. That was a fake yeah, shot. I mean, fake shot for you. Oh, there's nothing worse than you seeing it, seeing this guy out there. He's got all this brand new gear, all this flashy stuff. He thinks he looks top notch, and then he's an absolute loser. Just can't do anything. And yeah, I'm talking about you, Chris. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing, nothing worse than this one guy that just can't get any of the drills right, no matter how many times you explain it. There could be a whiteboard in front of his face, but no, he, he's always looking this way instead of looking that way. What are you doing? Come on, wrong way. He's going shooting that way instead of going that way. Like, dude, come on, it's not that hard. Blunt skates are the worst. I've had butter knives that have been sharper than that. Blunt oh, skates, man. Oh. There's nothing worse than when you're out there just trying to have a good game and you're doing, in your mind, everything right. But then you get these officials, like, if you even blow on the guy, oh, that's the immediate two minutes. You might as well go sit in the sin bin all game. What? Get your eyes tested, ref. I was inside. That's a good goal. What are you calling offside? That was a good goal. What are you calling? I was onside. You always get those guys where you're you're all set and ready to go. You're looking looking at the ice. You're about, oh yeah, we're about to get on. It's gonna be a super great time. And you get this phone call or a text message. Oh hey, sorry guys, I got work. I can't make it. It's like, dude, where were you like an hour ago when you could have told us this? Yo, Tom, where are you? Everyone's on the ice and you're not here again. You know, bro, I got stuck at work. It's been such a crazy day. I haven't stopped. I've barely eaten. It's been crazy, bro. This is like the third time now. It's like getting ridiculous. Like everyone's waiting on you and you're letting the team down once again. You absolutely suck. We hate you the most. <sighs> Always getting those guys who, you know, they are way up there. Could could have been an NHL or me, or wanna be anyways. But they come down to beer league. They sit there, dangle between everybody, go coast to coast between the legs. You know, I play like you know, once every two months or something like that. It's no big deal when I got time, you know. No, it's not like my main thing. You know, I got work and whatnot. But when I got time, you know, I like to come have a skate with the boys. You know, mess around. Have some fun. Like, bro, why are you even here? It's beer league. None of us barely know how to skate anyways. 
Uh, there's nothing worse than any time you're trying to go down and you're seeing the goalie like, okay, cool. We're gonna have a great opportunity. And then you see this guy all the way across the ice. He's just five feet inside the zone. Like, dude, there's the, there's the blue line. Just look at it. Make sure you don't go over it. Like, come on, man. It's not that hard. A big thank you to Drystick, portable ice hockey equipment dryer for making this video possible. If you're unfamiliar with Drystick, it's an equipment drying rack that incorporates your hockey stick with four arms to not only keep your equipment organized and off of the floor, but up in the air where it's hanging and well ventilated. This is not only going to help you to be more organized, reduce the smell and build up of bacteria inside your equipment, but it's also going to help your equipment to last longer. Each of Drystick's four arms can hold up to 10 pounds of hockey equipment, and each of the arms feature holes that can be used to hang up either hangers, jerseys, clothes, whatever you need. It's incredibly versatile, it's portable, it fits in any hockey bag, and it's definitely something every single hockey player should consider picking up. For more information and to get your Drystick, there'll be a link down below in the video description. And once again, a big thank you to Drystick for making this video possible. Thank you guys for watching. There'll be plenty more content along the way. If you have anything we missed or you think we should know, comment down below and maybe we'll get to it next time. Come on.